A local grassroots organization just got a big boost. Appetite for Change was awarded more than a quarter million dollars in grant money from the USDA. The group has a mission of giving people access to good food no matter where they live or how much money they have. Michelle Horovitz from Appetite for Change joins us now. Uh, we we're just talking about this. Your group's mission is to uh, use food to bring about so social change. How do you go about accomplishing that? It's a big, weighty thing to say, but how do you do it on the ground? Yeah, so um, we're led by community members. Um, my two co-founders are North Minneapolis residents. Um, my family, my dad and my grandmother and everybody grew up in North Minneapolis. Um, but we bring people together to cook, eat, and talk about the change that they want to see in the community. Um, we do nutrition and, and cooking education. We also have an urban agriculture program, so youth and other um, community members are growing food to aggregate and sell in the community. And we also work on local food policy. We we're just in Washington, D.C. actually for that. Um, and then we also operate Kindred Kitchen, which incubates small food entrepreneurs who are just starting out and want to um, make, you know, a, a food business. And then we also own and operate uh, Breaking Bread Cafe, which is a youth training and employment um, space, a community space, but it's also a really tasty cafe and catering operation. This is such a unique program because you're taking these youth in North Minneapolis and you're teaching them hands-on experience, how to grow food, how to cook food, uh, a lot of great skills. What are you hoping that they get from this, how this will impact them in their lives? Um, well, we've already seen the impact um, with some of our youth leaders. Um, they're really becoming motivated to be change agents in the community. So often um, North Minneapolis gets a bad rap and the focus is on the negative or, you know, there's, you know, gang violence or there's, you know, just like your previous segment. And um, so we're really trying to lift the youth up, their leaders. Um, we have a slogan, the youth is the truth. And they really have a lot of great energy. Um, we're hoping that they learn job skills, life skills, um, how to work as a team, how to, um, you know, be on time and, and have, a, have job skills, and then more importantly, how to become leaders in their community. I think we have a picture, too, of some of yeah. uh, the youth that you work with. I don't know if we can show that here on screen. Uh, right there. So yeah. what is this that we're looking at here? So um, this is uh, some of our youth. Um, I think I don't have my glasses on, so but <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's vegetables. I think it's Latyra, <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, they're carrying um, produce that they've grown and harvested from one of our urban farm sites in North Minneapolis, and they're carrying it down Emerson um, huh. to the corner of Emerson and West Broadway, where the West Broadway Coalition, one of our strong partners, operates the um, West Broadway farm market and so they actually aggregate it with other produce that is grown in the community by mostly black farmers that we've been working with actually this year they formed their own growers cooperative and they sell the produce the youth sell the produce at the farmers market and that's going to be supported by this grant I mean a quarter million dollars that, that that's a big grant what are some of the programs that are going to be helped by that yeah so it's um, over three years okay. and it's also spread amongst lots of different partners so the West Broadway business and area coalition um, NEON, the Northside Economic Opportunity Network, um, Community Table Cooperative, Afro Eco, Gardening Matters, Jordan Area Community Council. It's a really collaborative effort and it's really to support what was started um, just over five years ago with support from the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota Center for Prevention. Um, North Point Health and Wellness Center led a coalition called Northside Fresh, really bringing together all these community organizations that are working to increase food access, to have food justice and a locally owned food system. And this funding is going to help support all of the activities that are happening on West Broadway and to lift up the space as the Northside Fresh Food Zone. It's not just a place, you know, where there's McDonald's and Burger King and all right. that. Yeah, well, that cool. it sounds like your program is doing such amazing work in that community. So thank you so much for that. Of course, you, you accept donations uh, from we the do, public as well. Yeah. We have that information on our website, wccocom slash links if you want to check it out. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, and hope to see you at Breaking Bread with Reg. You can oh, get I've some... Oh, uh, Reg has told me awesome. <laughs> <laughs> things about this breaking bread place and he said I'm going to go get some shrimp and grits is that right yeah. yes. shrimp and grits okay, and I think he we'll said he's that. buying too so oh we'll perfect be yeah, and we'll we, go after the show and we cater so oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> wonderful we can bring it to you <laughs> love it well I'd say gardening weather is pretty much behind us we're yeah. already looking forward to winter 